Well, uh, first, um, we need to have a little bit of Unix knowledge. And by that, I mean that we're going to SSH on remote virtual machines, on remote Kubernetes clusters. So we, we will need to be able to open a terminal, uh, use SSH to connect to a remote machine. And then on that machine, we're going to you know, navigate directories, run a few commands, edit files, uh, I'm going to edit file with VI. If you're not familiar with VI, another thing that works very well um, is to use VS Code locally and then configure VS Code to use SSH on. Um, we, um, we're going to have a you know like a middle break that is almost an hour. So, for instance, if if that's what you want to do during the first break, your, your VS Code to connect to the remote machines, um, and and let us know if you if you need help with that. Okay, so that's for the Unix part, and we also need to have a little bit of container knowledge. Uh, ideally, uh, you need to know uh, what's a container, what's an image, how to build a container image, and then how to run uh, that container image. So if you know how to use Docker build, Docker run, you're all set. If you know how to do that with another container system like Podman or whatever, that's also perfectly fine. In fact, you will see that in this course, we're going to very briefly use Docker in the beginning, uh, like for maybe five minutes. And after that, we will not be using Docker anymore. So what that means is that if you don't know Docker, that's fine. Uh, and if you don't plan on using Docker, if you're thinking, well, I'm, I'm going to be using Rancher Desktop or Podman or whatever, that's also perfectly fine. Uh, as you will see, we will not rely on Docker for this course. All right, um, there is some uh, theory around the way we learn. I think it's called learning styles. Um, and so it, it, it says that um, everyone learns in different ways. Some folks learn best by viewing information, uh, some by hearing information, some by uh, doing things with their hands, etc. And so there is that, that quote that kind of uh, represents that as well. You know, so some folks learn best if they just hear a lot of information and then they build the concepts in their heads and that's great. Uh, and these folks usually do extremely well in college and other kind of classroom, like classic classroom settings. Uh, some folks learn best if they can see someone do something like, oh, okay, I see. That's that's how you change a, a tire or whatever. I understand. Some folks learn best if they actually do things themselves. Um, and some folks learn best if they teach to someone else because that activates other pathways. So I try to have a little bit of that, uh, of all of that in that course. So what that means is that each time that we will talk about a new concept, I'm going to give you some theory like, okay, this is how networking uh, happens in Kubernetes. Then I'm going to show you some demos with some concrete commands like this is how we expose a container and do load balancing, etc. Uh, and then if you want, you can reproduce these demos by yourself in your own environment. So there are multiple ways to do that. There are some folks who uh, like to have uh, like the, the video stream on one side and their terminal on the other side uh, and maybe the slides on a, on a third thing. And when I do the demos, they kind of do them at the same time. And uh, the, the, the point of that is that if you want, you can deviate a little bit from what I'm showing. You know, if, if you run exactly the same commands as I do, normally you should see exactly the same result, hopefully, because hopefully this we are working with deterministic computers, um, but you can also try to change things a little bit. For instance, sometimes when we, when we talk about scaling, I'm like, oh, look, now let's put 10 containers. And somebody asked me, well, what happens if we put 100 containers? Is it going to blow up the cluster? Or, and they're like, well, you can try if you want or, uh, and, and see what happens. Um, so, the um, all, all the demos that I'm going to show you, I 
strongly encourage you to try them by yourself. Uh, so it, it could be at the same time as I, as I do them, or it could be after. You know, some folks tell me, no, 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 I, I can't at the same time listen to what you're uh, saying and run the demos and etc. So it's also perfectly fine to rerun these demos by yourself after. Uh, and if you're the kind of person who learns best by doing, I strongly 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 recommend that you do that uh, i i don't know how strongly i can emphasize that um <clears throat> if if you feel like you know when when somebody explains something to you it goes in one ear and leaves through the other uh, and you need to do things by yourself uh, absolutely do it because th that's you're, you're going to see lots of really concrete examples um and and lots of really concrete comments about how kubernetes works so to help you with that, uh, I made sure that all the demos, you know, all the, the hands-on parts would be in these gray rectangles. So each time you see a gray rectangle, it means, hey, that's going to be a demo, an example. And for instance, if you want, uh, either during the middle break or at the end of each day of training, you could, you know, like go through the slides and each time you see a gray rectangle, oh, that's something that they should try uh, and see. What <music>